trained to invest, the power to prosper, we introduce to you a sampling of portions of what our students will learn in our classes, called modules. Basically, there are three areas of learning, namely, number one, fundamental analysis. Number two, technical analysis. Number three, emotional analysis. Fundamental analysis deals with a review of economic data through a scientific approach. We will discuss things like globalization, company analysis etc. Fundamental analysis is described as the science of investing. Technical analysis deals with charts of a particular sector, for example the energy sector or a company's stock, or an index, such as the TSX index. As the stock market depends on human beings, who are the buyers and sellers, the charts require some interpretation which is somewhat artistic. Therefore, technical analysis is described as the art of investing. Emotional investing deals with an individual emotions about risk management. A risk profile of that individual is ascertained to determine the level of risk that one should be able to handle. Emotional analysis is described as the risk of investing. As this appears somewhat complex, Train to Invest Incorporated has broken down the course to bite-sized pieces. No two individuals learn the same way, therefore, you can repeat the course as often as you need. While there are on-demand classes, all our classes are recorded which allows you to learn at your convenience. Disclaimer, suggested entry points are only suggestions based on current available information. These suggestions are both time-sensitive and for educational purposes. This is not investment advice. Thank you. The Train to Invest program. Train to Invest offers a complete solution in taking a novice investor, that is, without any prior knowledge of investing or trading or computers, to achieve a skill set that empowers them to trade with confidence and consistency. The model is based on conveying a simple and proven approach of attaining small gains, that is, 1%, within a targeted time frame, that is, within 14 days to achieve a specific return on invested capital within a year, that is, a 30% per year on a compounded basis. 1% in 14 days on a compounded basis will generate 30% per year. The student trades with dummy accounts, that is, without actual cash, to implement the education received into practical trades. Coaches can assist the student where he faces difficulties. You are not alone. The program is founded on the principle of teach, train, and coach. The Train to Invest course, Fundamental Analysis, Module 1, Financial Excellence. This deals with your existing financial condition and suggestions that you should make. Essentially creating your vision statement. Module 2, Economics and Globalization. Understanding the impact of the global economy on the Canadian economy. Module 3, Sector Analysis. Tracking sectors that are crucial to the Canadian economy. Module 4, Company Analysis. How to analyze a company without a PhD in finance. Module 5, Portfolio Creation. Creating a specific portfolio based on your needs and your vision for the future. Technical Analysis. Module 1, Support and Resistance. Establishing a price chart and looking at trends. Module 2, Technical Indicators. Using specific technical indicators to prepare entry, exit and stop strategies. Module 3, Bollinger Bands. A special technical indicator to establish overbought and oversold positions. Module 4, Risk Management. Establishing an individual's risk tolerance, through a risk profile and risk temperament surveys. Module 5, Emotional Investing. Managing emotions through planning a trade and trading the plan. Train to invest, the power to prosper. Here are sample portions of our class instructions. Module 1 Stock Market Basics. In this module, we will answer some questions that the novice may have. Number 1. How does the stock market work? Number 2. Can you make money with stock investing? Number 3. Is making money with stock trading guaranteed? Number 4. How risky is investing? Will I lose my shirt? Number 5. What are the fundamentals of stock trading? Number 6. Isn't it a form of gambling? Number 7. What are discount brokers? Please see the attached notes for details.
This module should help the novice investor plus the experienced investor who may have forgotten these basic traits. A typical scenario, the average person usually has been set up with a financial planner to manage their savings in the RRSP, TFSA and other accounts. Over time, they find their investments are not performing, in fact, their original investments are now worth less than when they started, so, what do they do? They change their financial planner. Over time, the result is the same, that is their portfolio has not performed to beat inflation, frustration sets in and there is great tension in the household. Why? Because money is a security blanket for many, many people, as the husband and wife are unable to trust the money management skills of their spouse, they will seek expert advice, they turn to their accountant or banker to seek advice. Having heard about self-direct investing, they mention this to their advisor. They are immediately told to leave investing to experts. The interpretation of such statements implies that you are stupid. They are saying that you earned a degree in underwater bubble blowing, so what do you know about investing? Introduction The Train to Invest program is a complete solution that removes the fear associated with stock investing. This fear paralyzes most individuals. Given this preconceived fear, they abdicate the management of their hard earned savings to the experts who legally rob them, that is, these experts receive their fees regardless of their fund's performance. Think about this where can you find a business that loses your money? yet you must pay them. The reason we get or allow ourselves to be robbed is because of fear. A fear that has been masterfully created by the financial services industry. The aim of this course is to eliminate that fear. Think about a child trying to ride a bike for the first time. Fear of falling paralyzes the child. Then, suddenly, the ability to ride is a breeze. Individuals learn at their own pace. No two individuals learn the same way or at the same pace. The next generation will develop a skill set that has never been taught at schools or colleges or universities. The last thing you want will be for a husband to teach the wife. Why are you laughing? We call this intense moments of fellowship. The stock market, simplified, the TSX is in a building at Bay Street in Toronto. Letter A on the chart. It has an electronic trading system, that is, trades are completed via computers. It is not a people system as you see on TV like the New York Stock Exchange. The letter B shows that various companies issue shares to raise funds, that is, for various reasons such as for expansion. They will issue stock certificates in return for cash. The letter C shows that investor who buy the shares issued by companies. Why would they buy shares? To earn a higher return than what banks provide in fixed deposit returns or from GICs. Their return can be in the form of share appreciation or dividends or both. Who are these investors? They are retail traders, that is, individual traders, or institutional investors such as banks, mutual funds, pension funds etc. Letter D shows these investors. How does it work? From the chart, looking from left to right, you are the investor who can go to your bank and open a self-directed investment account for your RRSPs, TFSAs etc. For further details, please enroll. Module 1. What are price charts? In this module, we see how daily share prices are recorded on a price bar as seen in letter A on the chart. As seen in letter B on the chart, that price bar is added to the other price bars to create a chart. From the chart, we look for trends as seen at letter C on the chart. From those trends, we determine the support and resistance levels as per letter DD on the chart. Module 2. Support and Resistance. In this example, we will use only two of the technical indicators to determine support and resistance levels. The first indicator will be the Relative Strength Index or RSI for short. This has a ceiling of 70 and a floor of 30. If it hits 70 and above, it is called resistance level. If it hits 30 and below, it is said to be at support levels. The second indicator will be the stochastic index. This has a floor of 20 and a ceiling at 80. Again, this works like the RSI. In this chart, the support level on both the RSI and stochastic were broken. See letter A on the chart. So, a buy was executed, that is, on December 28, 2023, 
500 shares were bought at $75 per share. Looking at the letter B on the chart, you will note that both the RSI and stochastics resistance levels were broken. This triggered a sell suggestion. On January 4, 2024, 500 shares were sold at $80.50 per share. This generated a profit of $5.50 per share giving a profit of $2,750 on 500 shares in 5 days. Module 2 – Fundamental Analysis Definition – The process of analyzing the impact of the global economy on the domestic economy with a view of building a portfolio based on outstanding companies that form the backbone of the domestic economy. It involves, number 1, determining the importance of specific sectors to the economy. Number 2, selecting quality companies within these sectors that have a proven track record and long-term potential. From the chart, we need to determine the impact of the global economy on the domestic economy. From there we look at the sectors that are positive based on the growth of the domestic economy. We build a portfolio based on the major companies from those sectors. We consider economic growth, such as inflation, GDP growth etc. Extraordinary events, for example, earthquake in Japan. Geopolitical events such as Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Sector-specific regulations such as the green initiatives of climate change. Globalization. Looking at the charts, we can determine which sectors are important to the Canadian economy. Obviously, energy is a very important sector which in 2021 accounted for 24% of total exports amounting to US $120 billion. So, it will be important to track the top performing companies within this sector. The top energy companies by market capitalization are Enbridge Incorporated, Canadian Natural Resources, TC Energy Corporation, Suncor Energy Incorporated, Senevas Energy Incorporated, Imperial Oil Company. This is how we build a portfolio prior to trading these stocks. We are not chasing every rabbit on the road. Emotional trading. The picture shows an apple tree at a cliff's edge with two apples as illustrated by the letter C. Letter A shows one apple and letter B shows the other apple. The caption at the bottom of the picture asks a question. Which apple will you pick? What's the point of this exercise you may ask? Assuming that you and your spouse was asked this question, the answers will provide a guide to your risk tolerance. For example, let's assume that the wife is somewhat cautious, that is, she is a GIC queen, and the husband is somewhat a risk taker, that is, he takes risks. She would pick apple A and he would pick apple B. Who is correct? The answer is both of them are correct because they have different risk profiles, but there are some who will say, back up the truck, I am going to take the whole tree. These types are gun slingers. Train to invest has developed a formula that will control your emotional needs of fear and greed by managing your portfolio exposure. The focus will be on capital preservation. Portfolio creation. Train to invest will start you with what is known as the Focus 5 companies. These are the Royal Bank, TD Bank, Enbridge, Suncor and Imperial Oil. The chart shows their recent market capitalization. As you progress through the course you will add more names to this portfolio you will learn how to select companies that should be in your portfolio. The next slides will show what the profit potential is for trading these companies. Imperial Oil. Using the Bollinger Band indicator, a net profit of $23,500 was recorded. Looking at the chart from left to right, the following are the recorded trades, October 20, 2022, bought at $67. November 9, 2022, sold at $74 for a gain of $7 per share. January 11, 2023, bought at $65. February 1, 2023, sold at $71, for a gain of $6. March 28, 2023, bought at $65. April 19, 2023, sold at $72, for a gain of $7. May 17, 2023, bought at $61. June 30, 2023, sold at $68, for a gain of 7.00. July 2023, bought at $65. September 28, 2023, sold at $85, for a gain of $20 per share, a total gain of $23,500, excluding dividends, 
was recorded. Fundamental analysis. Using crude oil prices, West Texas Intermediate or WTI for short, to determine the trend for energy share prices, for example, we use Suncor Energy Incorporated, stock symbol SU, as our illustration for fundamental analysis. In the chart, looking from right to left, as crude oil prices rises, you notice that Suncor's share prices rise in tandem. See letter A in the chart. Likewise, when crude oil prices decline, so does Suncor share prices. See letter B in the chart. This is what a knowledgeable investor understands about energy prices tracking commodity prices and using this knowledge to gain profits. Naturally, the execution of trades are confirmed by technical indicators. Royal Bank, using Relative Strength Index, called RSI for short, and stochastic indicators to generate $24,250 in profits on 500 shares traded. Looking at the chart from left to right, letter A shows on January 2, 2023, Royal Bank shares were bought at $128 per share, and was sold on February 6, 2023, at $140. A gain of $12 per share. Letter B shows on February 20, 2023, Royal Bank shares were bought at $125.50 per share, and was sold on May 1, 2023, at $135. A gain of $9.50 per share. Letter C shows on May 29, 2023, Royal Bank shares were bought at $121 per share, and was sold on July 7, 2023, at $130. A gain of $9 per share. Letter D shows on October 23, 2023, Royal Bank shares were bought at $112 per share, and was sold on December 18, 2023, at $130. A gain of $18 per share. The cumulative gains was $48.50 per share. On 500 shares on each transaction, the total profit was $24,250. That is, $48.50 multiplied by 500 shares. The strategy that we teach is to buy at oversold indicators and sell at overbought indications. You are not trapped to sit at your computer 24-7 but set alerts on your smartphone through which you could execute the trades. Track record, suggestions made. On June 30, 2023, an email was issued suggesting six stocks were to be tracked. Buy and sell prices were suggested. Results achieved, between July 7, 2023, and July 12, 2023, by trades were executed on all six stock suggestions. Between July 27, 2023, and August 4, 2023, sell trades were executed. This generated a combined profit of $42.25 per share. On 500 shares traded a total profit of $21,125 was recorded a 7% return within approximately 30 days. The evidence demands a verdict. Testimonials. This is a copy of a client's actual trading account from TD Bank. It shows that this client generated 656% within five years. Testimonials. This is a copy of a client's actual trading account from TD Bank. It shows that this young man recorded an ROI, or return on investment, of 17%. An amazing feat, this young man had been given $3,500 by his parents a few years ago. He turned it into $6,000 within two and a half years. Please go to www.train2invest.com slash testimonials for further information. Conclusion, the Train to Invest program breaks down the perceived complex study into bite-sized pieces. As there are recorded classes, the student is able to review the classes at their convenience and as often as they need. The concept is a simple one. Number one, it shows you what to buy, when to buy and when to sell. Number two, eliminate fear and greed, by taking 1% within 14 days to generate 30% per year. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, email admin at train2invest.com or voicemail 204. 414-9106. Please visit our website, www.train2invest.com for further information and register for our free newsletters. Bye for now.